What we're doing today is our annual criminal justice teaching. We've been doing this now for seven years, and what we do basically is invite various officials of local criminal justice agencies to come and address our students and staff. I have some of my clients who are very cerebral, very smart, very logical and analytical, and they like to go very deep with me and understand all the consequences. And if this happens, this is our next option. But if that happens, this is what we're going to do. I think he's a great asset to bring to this um, organization because he helps um, explain the other side of the more popular spectrum of the law. And what is the role of law enforcement? Yes, we're the protector, we're the enforcer, but a lot of times people don't realize we're the social worker too. And uh, I, I, I always speak to when I'm, when I'm talking even to my deputies, uh, when I come into a different department, I tell them, you know, some, some people need advice. Some people need a hug, and then there's going to be those who need handcuffs, you know, and that's, that's, that's our job as a law enforcement officer is to decipher through that. Who, who needs what? I thought it was very informative and helpful, um, both in regards to understanding what HCSO, um, where they stand in terms of community policing and also in terms of law enforcement as a career. At the end of the day, most importantly, Regardless of what you do throughout the day, you have to be able to look yourself in the mirror and say, I did the best I could do. Yes, you're gonna make mistakes. I still make mistakes. Learn from those mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. Learn from those mistakes. Put your head on the pillow then the night knowing that I did the best I could. And if you can't, think about what you could do better and wake up the next day and do it again.